world. It's Chatty Dad one coming at you tonight. Um, I have got a lot of material to go over with you, and not a lot of time to do it. So, kind of hang tight with me here. Um, we've got some serious situations going on. The fox is in the hen house. The wolf is in with the sheep. And it's not just from China, Russia. It's from within. The uh, army that our president was talking about has basically got it set up and ready to go. And they're just waiting for the word to go. I think the only thing that's stopping them is the Second Amendment rights we still have. And they're going to push that and keep on. But as you see here, they are uh, <clears throat> coming after our kids in a big way. We've seen a lot of troop movements. We've seen retrograde stuff coming home from overseas, from where we was fighting in wars. War materials go where the wars are. All this stuff is from online. FEMA, Department of Homeland Security websites, and other things. There's a lot of scenarios that's playing out. There's a lot of things that's happened that's prepared us, that's preparing them for what's to come. Lots and lots of things. There's New Orleans. And they have manuals to tell you what to do, you know, how to go about doing things. But it's not all up front. They're not telling us everything. They have their meetings. They have their groups within groups within groups. See this town? This very well could have been um, the school there in, in Newport, or I'm sorry, in Newtown. There's some unlucky people that had a warrant served on them with excessive force. The public are being trained to take up arms against the so-called terrorists that are abroad and here, mainly here. They're being told that these things are going to happen and that they will be needed, that they're doing their community a favor, that they will save us. There's only one thing that will save us, and that's the Lord. God, Christ, Jesus Christ, whomever you want to call him, religion does not factor in with them at all. They <clears throat> mainline their information through our clothing, through media, television, this is representing the world tree, new world order, one world government, save the world. I don't know what that says. I think it says, I'll change the world. today, I believe. I'm not sure. But lots of things that they are uh, pushing out. 
resist guns they're telling us to resist they've united war and peace death and love they're trying to join these two in marriage but our clothing we wear it here's the uh, owl you know Bohemian Grove on a t-shirt they keep us occupied with Sunday night football baseball basketball whatever they can television media but it's in our face they want our mind they want our hearts they practice these things to make it perfect and they call them real events people actually die in some of these things other ones they don't the police and the people that are actively engaged in helping believe they're doing good things they believe they're protecting America these vehicles right here are in um, Afghanistan you recognize that? well they've come home and they're still coming home they have events that go down that makes people wanna beg give up our right to bear arms keep us safe government keep us safe DHS because you're the only ones who can well I'm sorry but that's not true you're gonna see this this is something that most don't know about our soldiers are spread out so thin they're doing the work of other countries and our own and the corporate media the corporate government the corporation itself they can shut things off when they want this is a patch worn by the Russian Spetsnob soldier <clears throat> half wolf half man and they're here so far there's 15,000 of them there's reports of 50,000 of them and they're not here to uh, you know they're not here to socialize they're not here for a barbecue this is at one of our military bases our Secretary of State with the UN their plans are being carried out just like they need them to everything is going smooth as planned from where they stand the United Nations we have what 68,000 troops ready to go give me liberty or give me death security and prosperity partnerships of North America the North American Union these things here we know so well we pay to them every day we can't go anywhere without seeing their signs now we have the Chinese coming in the back being invited in 
to sit down at the dinner table of America. You see, the continental United States, CONUS, is having a going out of business sale. And everyone's invited. And believe me, they all have tickets to this auction, to this meal. And they all want a piece of the American pie. These things have been being worked out on the highest levels with the highest, most powerful people in the world, with people we don't even know who they are. Deals are worked out and brokered. American citizens are going to remain like they are, but we'll be paying taxes to somebody else. We'll be paying our rent to someone else. They're going to keep things similar. But we're going to be under more control. Less freedoms. All this stuff here is coming home. Recognize those? You will. We've seen them in Watertown, Massachusetts during the lockdown for two teenage kids who were suspects of the Boston bombings. All this stuff is coming home. It's supposed to be here by the end of 2014. This stuff goes where the war is. As far as I know, there's not war on the continental United States but it sure seems like that there could be no it seems like there will be retrograde to bringing it home bringing it all back CERT community emergency response teams I don't know how many of you heard about them They're getting us used to death. They're getting us used to being stepped on, (coughs) mistreated, abused. Canterbury tells these stories have been told by Hollywood in many different ways, many different movies. To me, this looks like it could be a six, 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 but that's just me. It's also strange that this is the one side. Looks like a fern. This other side almost looks like a scorpion's tail or something else, maybe a big caterpillar. But there's images everywhere. The less you suck. I don't know what this is supposed to represent, but it looks like a satanic symbol or possibly a pornographic image that our subconscious takes in. Our minds are a very, very special thing. And we take things in without even realizing it and we remember and it affects us it affects our children it affects what we do how we think how we feel alert condition red absolutely Absolutely. Condition red.
this is a citizen's court from the UN. The UN. Peacekeepers of the world. And now our children. They're coming after them hard and fast through our schools. Through the television. Through the churches that are not aware and awake through so many ways they're coming at them hard and fast like I say now this is Citizens Corp this is uh, FEMA this isn't the UN this is FEMA. DHS. What all does DHS entail? What all do they uh, run? Let's see. <clears throat> what all is within the DHS? Because it isn't just Department of Homeland Security or FEMA. They run everything. They are the top of the food chain. Science and Technology Directorate. Office of Policy. Office of Health Affairs. Office of Intelligence and Analysis, Office of Operations, Coordination and Planning, Federal Law Enforcement Training Center, Domestic Nuclear Detection Office, TSA, United States Customs and Border Protection. United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. ICE. United States Coast Guard. Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA. The United States Secret Service. Yep the US Secret Service that's what falls under the umbrella of the Department of Homeland Security and you say we have nothing to worry about well I beg to differ here's a training manual you can get you can buy it online 15 bucks Packs for survival. CERT. Basic training. Participant manual. Community emergency response team. That's what CERT is. Now let's continue on with the uh, show. Youth preparedness. Citizens Corps. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a whole new segment on this. I hope everyone's well. Tune in for part two. This is Chatty Dad One. God bless. Good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. Stand up for your rights. Exercise them. Let's keep them. God bless. God help us all. Prepare while you can. This is Chatty Dad One. Over and out.